Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to our episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, The Walking Deadlock. In the last episode, we went through the Union Cave and got ourselves here to Azalea Town. In this episode, we're gonna stop Team Rocket here. I mean, they're blocking the way to where we need to go, because, you know, it's obvious that they're down there, and they've also blocked off the gym. Off screen, I did training. All my Pokemon are up to level 15 at least. And yeah, I'm gonna be using Dale on my team. Anyways, I did teach at Rock Tomb at TM, you know. Just make sure I have a rock type move on it. And yeah, I'm all set and well, let's get this going. We need to get rid of Team Rocket and we are definitely going to do that by going in here. Huh? Who are you? Rick, eh? You wanna make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. You know Team Rocket? Hey, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. They're an evil game that used Pokemon for their dirty work and they're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyways, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. Somebody give them a lesson in pain! Hang on, Slowpoke! Oh, Curdy's on the way! Grandpa's gone, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Alright, so let's head over to that Slowpoke well. And we are going to take down Team Rocket. So let's just head over here and jump right in. Hey there, Rick. The guard up top took off in a shot, and then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats, if I were free, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, I can't be helped. Rick, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Alright, let's go. Let's face this guy. Oh, wild encounter. How convenient. Right, let's see what we get in here. We get a Zubat, which is Dupes Claws. Alright. So what I'm going to do is... I know there's only... Slowpoke and Zubat in here. Now, I'm not gonna just completely ruin that dupes clause um, rule. I mean, just using it is, I mean, it's good for uniqueness, but if you just keep doing it until you get a new Pokemon, that's kind of cheap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five encounters, and if I don't find anything new in five encounters, which you should, but let's say I don't, then we'll just pass on this route, so. Yeah, it's not going to be an official rule that's going to be added, but I'm just going to do that just so I make it a little more, I don't know, quicker. Because I don't want to spend here with like 10 minutes trying to find something else. Because, you know, there's only two Pokemon here, Zubat and Slowpoke. So, yeah. We are just going to, you know, make sure we save time. And we defeat the Team Rocket Grunt pretty easily. Ah, this is not my day. No, it is not your day, my friend. Anyways, let's head up here, and we can get an item right here, which is a Super Potion. Alright. Stop taking Slowpoke Tails? What? You want to display a direct order from Executive Proton? You gotta stop us, then you have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. Alright, let's go. Team Rocket Girl wants to fight, and she has a Zubat level 9. Let's go, Tyrese! We're just going to go for that Thundershock, and that's going to take down that Zubat pretty darn easily. And let's see what else is there. I'm assuming she has an Ekans, if I remember correctly. Yes, she does have an Ekans. Snake backwards, yes, she has one of those. Alright, so yes, Intimidate, that's great. Whatever. Thundershock to the face, and that should take down that Ekans. Because, you know, guess what? Thundershock is not a physical move and we got a crit which is awesome and almost level 16 nice you rotten brat all right so let's face this guy right here quit taking slow poke tails we listen to you team Re rockets rep be ruined okay i can give it to you you know if we stop you you know you're gonna that's the same thing we stop you, your rep is gonna be ruined too, so. It's a, I think I'm gonna stop you too, so it's either you stop or that you screw, I don't know, just give up and. Yeah, it's either give up or fight me and lose, that's what it's gonna be. And Tyrese is level 16. So now it's time for a Zubat. Um, you know what? Let's send out our new Dale. Because we haven't used him on screen yet. Go, Dale! So yes, a Zubat, that's great. Let's rock tomb it. And there we go. And I'm surprised I hit, it's an 85% accuracy, and when I was training, I had terrible luck. 
Simple as that. Alright, so there we go. And we have to see, okay, Zubat, okay, another one. Hopefully we hit this Rock Tomb too, otherwise that's gonna be a problem. Come on, okay, good. And that's gonna take down the Zubat. Alright, so let's see, we defeat the Team Rocket Grunt, just too strong! And now let's talk to this guy over here, Executive Proton. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as a scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. And yeah, I'm gonna just mess with your business because it's fun! Alright, here we go, Executive Proton. And he's gonna send out a Zubat. Level 8. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna go for a Thundershock. And there we go. Thunder shock to the face, that's definitely going down. Now, his second Pokemon is Coughing, which is quite an interesting Pokemon because, well, it does carry the poison gas, and yet it is a very bulky Pokemon, and I mean physical bulky, not special bulky. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. So Thunder Shock, let's see, probably do about half, maybe. Yeah, he's going to go for Smoke Screen. Great. Yeah, that's just my luck. Alright, well, let's... Are you serious? Did you come here thinking you could mess with our plans? Yes, I did! And I'm just gonna Thunder Shock again and finish you off! What? Now! I just had to. I don't know why I paused, though. But that's okay. We defeat Executive Proton. Grr, for a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. And here comes Curdy Boy. Way to go, Rick. Team Rocket is taking off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Of course, you walk over. You're perfectly fine right after you finish him off. Yeah, he's a coward. Alright, hi Rick! You finished it off like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket is disbanded by a bo boy called Red three years ago. Now that they come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me, great me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Rick. This is all I have now, but take it. And we got a fastball. Yeah, you know, one of those pitches in baseball. Yeah, fastball. Alright, you have Apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Alright, let's see. Let's give them two black Apricorns. Oh, I did not mean to say no. Let's go. Oh, I gave him one. Okay, well... That's okay. That's right, I'll give you my grandpa's number. Sure, you're the only person that gets to be in my Poke Gear. You're welcome. All right. So let's head in back into that Slowpoke well, because we still have four encounters to find a Slowpoke. Because that is a Pokemon that would be really awesome to have. So let's head over here and jump right in. All right, let's see. Four encounters, is it possible to find it? I think it is. So come on, give me something good. That'd be nice if I get something. Okay, there we go, come on, Slowpoke. And it's a Zubat, okay, that's number two. So I have three more. All right, here we go, come on, give me a Slowpoke. Dang it! Alright, we got two more. Alright, let's get away very safely. And come on. Yeah, got this. Come on. Yeah, can do it. Okay, we got one more left. Come on. Give me that slow boat. Come on, give it to me. It's so close. I can feel it. Come on, give it to me. And if I don't get it, that's upsetting. Okay, here we go, let's do this. Come on, give me a Slowpoke. Yes! All right, level six. Well, I'm just gonna Thunder Wave this thing. And that'll be good. And yeah, I'll just tackle it once, and I think that should be all, just, that should be it. So, yeah. Hopefully we don't kill it though, because we are 10 levels ahead, come on! Oh, I know Slowpoke's really bulky though, so I knew, it. yet again, I wasn't really doubting that possibility that it was going to live, but I mean, 
Yeah, whatever. Um, let's see. What's up? Okay, fastballs. Catching fast Pokemon, because that's definitely the right Pokeball to catch a slow poke. Okay, let's just go for a great ball here, and yes, let's see. It is a male, so what am I going to name this thing? Hmm. I think I have a good name for this. Slowpoke is the dopey Pokemon. We're going to name it Patrick. And he's one of those characters that wasn't a main character in The Walking Dead. But he was one that... Uh, I'm not going to say what he did, never mind. That would be a spoiler. But yes, Patrick. I'm not trying to mean Patrick Star because he's a... Yeah, he's a dopey person. He just is. Not a person, but a starfish. He's pretty dumb, too. I mean, yeah. Alright, so, anyways, let's go heal up, and we'll go right into the gym. Yeah, good for you, lady. Don't think too long now. Although, I think I may have enough time to completely sweep through it, so that'll be good. Thank you for waiting. Yeah, that's great. Okay, bye. Get away from me now. All right, so let's put Dale up top. Because, yeah, we're going to use him in the gym. Because he has that rock to him, and it's very helpful against that Scyther. All right, so let's head right in. So make sure we take this path right here. Because it completely skips a trainer. There we go. And we have this guy right here. Bog Pokemon evolve when they're young, yeah, that's great. Too bad they stink. Well, most of them, not all of them. Heracross, Scyther, those are the good Pokemon that are bugged, but... Yeah, anyways, let's go for Rock Tomb. That should take down this um, Weedle. And there we go. I think I'll, I might switch out to Carl here. Yeah, that'd be good. So let's come on out, oh, Carl. All right. So let's go for a peck on that Kakuna, because I know that'll be a one-hit KO. And there we go. Good job, Carl. Now, I think the last Pokemon is a Metapod. Not 100% sure. Oh, it's a Beedrill. Jeez. All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to fight it. Um... Let's go with a fair, uh, Fury Attack. Come on, give me five. Come on. Three. Because I knew this, I wanted to make this a Fury Attack fight. Yes! Let's see. Four damage. Okay. You better not get... Oh, crit. No. No. Okay, got three. Let's pack and finish off the Beedrill. All right. We got 400 experience points, wow. Let me defeat Benny. By the way, I have a beagle named Benny. Alright, so let's see. Let's use a potion here. And we'll give it to Carl. Now let's go back to our party, because I know we've, we have a forced double battle coming up, so let's make sure we have two Pokemon up there that will benefit in that fight. And there we go. What? The egg is hatching?! And as you may know, Togepi is going to be the Violet City encounter, like I said right when I got the egg. Anyways, what is it, a male or female? It is a male. Uh, let's name it Joe. Uh, not that. There we go. Not Joff. No, Joe. That's what happens when I don't have a stylus. Alright, so let's see. Let's check out this. Joe at level one. Okay, has extra sensory. Is that an egg move? I think it is. That's not that bad. I don't know, I might use it. Anyways, let's go on this here. And there we go. Now we we are doing a force double battle, and yeah, we'll get right to the gym leader. Hey, are you chose the gym leader? No way. If you insist we'll be in your your opponents. Okay, cool. 
Let's go. Amy and Mimi. So down, Carl. So let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to go for Rock Tomb on that Lady Butt, and I'm going to go for Peck on the Spin Rack, and that should be it. Way to go, Carl. And now Dale, do your Rock Tomb and finish up the job. Okay, good. Because Lady Butt is quad, uh, quad weak to this thing, so... At least quad weak to Rock Tomb, so that'll be good. And boom, it is done, and now... Let's head over to the Gym Leader. And I feel like I, I have enough time to do it. It may go over 20 minutes, but, I mean, I'm not really too worried about that. So, anyways, the thing about this Bugsy guy, yes, he is a guy, by the way, he's going to be a problem because of his lead Pokemon, and it could potentially sweep teams. So, I'm actually going to put Tyrese up top, and his, his best Pokemon, Scyther, with Technician. You're probably thinking, oh, it's not that bad. But it has Quick Attack, and with Technician and Quick Attack, yeah, it's going to do about 60 damage. I mean, 60 power instead of 40. And that can be also a problem. It also holds the Citrus Berry, which can be pretty bad. And it has the U-Turn, Stab U-Turn. That is not helpful, and that is not safe. So, I don't know how I'm going to do against the Scyther. But anyways, Bugsy. You never lose when it comes to Bug Pokemon. Research, my research is authority on Bug Pokemon. Here we go, it's Bugsy! So now it's Bugsy's turn, and he has a Scyther, of course, level 17 Bug Flying type, like I said, Technician with the Citrus Berry. His full move sets U-Turn, Leer, Focus Energy, Quick Attack. Now, I'm definitely going to try Thunder Waving this thing, and good, it did not go for the U-Turn. Now, the thing is with this thing, yeah, it's going to be probably going for U-Turn now with the, after that Leer. And that, that could be a huge problem. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to switch out into Dale, because he's a pretty bulky Pokemon. And if it goes for U-Turn, I know for sure I'm going to live it. Okay, it's going for U-Turn. Okay, good. And wow, that did so much damage! Jeez! Okay. Um, okay, Metapod, level 15. It is a bug type with the ability to shed skin, and the only move it has is Tackle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Rock Tomb. And that should do quite a bit of damage. Let's see how much we'll do. Okay, did about half. And you're gonna tackle, it's probably gonna do nothing. Yeah, three damage. Not too scary at all. Rock Tomb, come on. Finish it off with mid max damage. I know it lives if it stays. Yes, I knew it. Alright. That'd be bad if it got a crit. That'd stink. Okay, scratch. Oh, okay, fine. Use your super potion on your Metapod. I am perfectly fine with that, because now you don't have one for your Scyther. Rock Tomb again, and we've been lucky. We've been hitting a lot with Rock Tomb. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it's third speed drop. And let's land another Rock Tomb. I missed! Of course I jinxed it! Okay, come on. Now, come on. Rock Tomb away. Okay, good. It's gone. And plus, I get a free switch in to whatever I need. Whew! Okay, so Dale's going to get 231 experience points, almost a level up, now it's back to Scyther. Okay, what am I going to do? I could go into Carl or Tyrese. But Carl resists the U-turn, so it's probably going to be going for quick attack non-stop. It's going to be doing 60 power, but U-turn, of course, with stab, I mean, it's going to be about the same power when it's re resistant to it. So, we are faster than it now. So we don't quite have to worry. So let's go for Peck. Oh wow, that did nothing. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! There goes Carl! No, Carl! No! <laughs> oh man! Okay, first death. Um, uh, Thundershock. Come on. Please do a lot of damage. Oh, okay. No, this is not oh, 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 oh. oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This is the scariest thing ever.
Oh, you turn. Oh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. Tyrese hung on. Tyrese hung on. Okay. It is officially a walker. Now what am I gonna do? Oh no. Okay, so Kakuna only has Poison Sting. And also has the Shed Skin ability, so really you can't really... Can Nah, we can't really do anything with it. So... <sighs> Yikes. Okay. Odds are that Scyther is definitely gonna be using Quick Attack. I mean, I could take my chances here. I, I'll just go to Herschel. Hopefully he doesn't get any poison hacks. Okay, so let's see. Quick attack. Since it can't go for Harden, that is good. Poison sting. Better not get poison. That would be terrible. Alright, poison sting. And quick attack. Oh, come on. It just lived with a sliver of health. Okay, quick attack again. That is it. So now the only thing left is that Scyther. Now the fact that if I can get Paralysis Hacks, I can still live and finish it off with a Thundershock. Can I do that? I don't know. Hopefully Hacks come in, comes into play here. Because if I don't, I may lose my entire team. Aw, dang it! Okay, so Tyrese is down. Uh, oh, I hate this so much. This is so scary. So two of our Pokemon are down now. So now it's Herschel's turn. Ah. Uh, Quick attack since we can't outspeed it thanks to the paralysis. Focus energy. Okay, good. That means I win! Yes! We did it! Whoo! We did it, guys. We defeat Bugsy. Oh, that's the end of it. I'm an expert on Bug Pokemon. Yes, I am, and we get the Hive Badge from Bugsy. Do you know what the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Even trades, trade ones will. And we also can learn Cut Outside of Battle. We got TM89 U-Turn. Oh, that is that that fight was brutal. I don't even. I just. Don't know what to say. We have lost two of our Pokemon to that awful, awful Scyther. One turned into a walker while the other one didn't take it, didn't get a chance. Oh, Professor Elm, what's up? Rick, this is great news. A Pokemon hatched from that egg. How did you know? I knew that giving that egg to you, Rick, was the right thing to do. I just knew it. You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. Okay, I'll show you some other time. Probably 50 episodes from now, if I'm even around then. <laughs> Alright. So we got two badges, but we also got two deaths. So let's pull over and put, a, put these Pokemon in the walker box. Carl! And Tyrese. Really unfortunate, because those two are really good Pokemon. I was definitely looking for to for an Ampharos. And same thing for a, a Fero, man. That would have been amazing. So as far as Pokemon I'm gonna add to my team. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna probably add Sasha. And then I'm gonna add Patrick. I think that will be good. And the reason for that is I just need a flying type Pokemon, and then Slowpoke, I need a water type. 
So that'll be the end of this episode. Off screen, I'll do a lot. When I mean a when I mean a lot, I mean a lot of training. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, chat people inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Heart Gold, The Walking Deadlock.